Salmon season, uh, someone had mentioned it to me um, like way back in the spring, and honestly, up until um, recently when I started getting close, I hadn't thought much about it. Um, and I mean, a couple of people have brought it to my attention here and then. Um, but I mean, it, I was first aware of it back uh, like at, like al almost right after the season back uh, in the spring. So, um, but I haven't thought much, didn't think much about it uh, between the winter and. I guess now. His physical attributes are great, uh, but the nice thing about Thomas is that he's a very coachable kid. I mean, you only have to tell him something a couple of times, and he really retains that knowledge. Goes out, puts it to work on a daily basis, and then the results speak for themselves. Well, he's not afraid to put in the time. You know, he, he, he watches film. He works hard in practice. He, he's willing to learn. Again, he's a smart kid, you know, adaptable. So all those things right there will, will make him successful no matter where he decides to go to play football, if, if he does that. Yeah, Colin had a breakout year last year. Um, I mean, we've been, we've been um, having our combination or whatever you guys like to call it for past, since seventh, eighth grade, something like that. And I mean, overall as a receiving core, we, we, we're, we're great. I mean, Brad Smith has really turned it up this year. Um, He's over 300 yards already this year. Um, Colin is, is having another great year, uh, just like he did last year. So, I mean, I, I have more than just Colin to throw to, um, which a lot of people uh, don't seem to notice. But, um, yeah, we, we have a lot of great targets for me to throw to.